Welcome everyone to Swifty School. My name is Ashley and this is my husband Justin. He is a Swifty and also a huge NFL fan and so am I as of last week. And <laughs> they were going to talk about how the Travis and Taylor love story is going to bring people together. It's a love story. Baby, just say yes. We didn't even script that. We are not only talking about Taylor Swift, but we're also talking about... Football. The football. I think there's a little bit of resistance in the NFL community, my 10-year-old son included. Why are all these Swifties coming from? Why do they all of a sudden care about football? It might take a minute for them to warm up to us. When you bring football and Swifties together, people who are like deeply passionate about the things they love, we're going to have so much fun together this fall. Let's dive into the true story of Mr. Barracana and the Heartbreak Bridge. Where they came from. Travis and Taylor hit it. Travis Kelsey and his brother Jason went to college together at the University of Cincinnati. Both went to the NFL. Travis to the Kansas City Chiefs. Jason Kelsey went to the Philadelphia Eagles. And Travis Kelsey is probably going to be the greatest tight end to ever play the game, that position. Both have won one Super Bowl. And last year, they actually played against each other in the Super Bowl. Travis beat the Eagles. So now Travis Kelsey has two Super Bowl rings on their mother, Jersey Maid, that's half Travis, half Jason, because she loves both their sons. She's amazing. Tight end. Okay, show me. So the quarterbacks right here, these guys right here are very large. The offensive line, they block for the quarterback. The tight end, who's big enough to play on the offensive line, six foot five, 250 pounds, massive guy. He can either block or he can run out here and be like, I'm open. Patrick Mahomes is like, dude, toss him the rock. Taylor, she was born in Pennsylvania. Where Jason Kelsey plays. Both born in 1989. What is coming out in a couple weeks? 1989, Taylor's version. Taylor's version is coming out. Both born in 1989. Other things they have in common. Tall. Taylor is 5'11". Travis is 6'5". I'm a tall girl too. I'm six feet tall. There's a song in Antihero where Taylor says, I feel like a monster on the hill. The lyric has never spoken truer to me. Everyone is so happy because she's dated like very pretty boy, small guys. She gets to date a big guy. So there's all these memes on the internet right now about how she finally gets to be the little spoon. They both have performed. They both have drawn massive crowds to Arrowhead Stadium. Arrowhead Stadium is where the Kansas City Chiefs play. Also where Taylor Swift did her Eras tour in July. This is where it gets interesting. Arrowhead Field? Stadium. Travis attends the Eras tour as a fan. Like everyone, Travis is blown away. Already was a Taylor Swift fan before. He loves making friendship bracelets. Friendship bracelets. He decided to pursue Taylor Swift. He made her a friendship bracelet with his phone number on it. With his phone number? He, he took his shot. Impressive. He says, can I come meet her? And guess what they said? What? No. He's got two rings. But she turns him down. What happens is he goes on a podcast and he tells this story. I tried to give her my phone number and she shot me down. What happened? Taylor got wind. I'm sure she Googled a picture of six foot five, 250 pounds and was like, oh, that <laughs> yes, <Travis> Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> so we do not know how long they've been dating. And then all of a sudden, last weekend on Sunday? Sunday. Taylor Swift in Travis Kelsey's box with his mother laughing. I mean, I... I think the secret's out. Who's she here to see? The Swifties go wild. All of his teammates recognizing Taylor Swift is there and like waving. Kelsey keeps looking up at the box throughout the game and like looking up at her and smiling. Hear it? No, I love the players and you love the game. Football. It's like she's been manifesting for 10 years for this one. On to the next page of notes. So then it is confirmed. Taylor and Travis leave the game together. And they get into a convertible car, which he then says on his podcast in a getaway car. Getaway car is a Taylor Swift song. He knows what he's doing. And let me tell you the significance of Taylor hopping into a convertible car top down. If you've ever watched Taylor Swift, Miss Americana, the documentary, security is one of the biggest things for her team. In a bulletproof suburban all of the time. The fact that she got into a top down convertible with no security shows how safe she feels with this man, romance novel writes itself. Six foot five, 250 pounds is pretty good security. You can imagine him just being like, let your security go over the night. She's been with these little guys and now she has like a man. They go to a restaurant, they buy everyone dinner that's at their restaurants within the next 24 hours is wild. Read them the stats. 400% spike in Kelsey's jerseys. 24 million views of the game. 300,000 new followers. Number one podcast on Apple. Every single Chiefs game for the rest of the season is completely sold out. NFL changed icon on social media. Taylor's version means Taylor owns it. So all of her re-recorded albums. And you know what the NFL did? Taylor's version. 
The NFLs are Swifty. Let's talk Easter eggs. Hidden messages everywhere. Is as Swifties, people are going back and finding what I like to call her invisible strings. So she has a song called Invisible Strings about being with a person and then kind of looking backwards and seeing all the invisible strings that brought you to this person. Let me share with you some of these invisible strings, things that have been a big part of her career, her songs and her lyric that ties her to Travis Kelsey. Taylor's favorite number, every Swifty knows, 13. Travis Kelsey's number, 87 plus 13. 100% true love. 100%. He's her 13th public boyfriend. Is he, the, is he the first athlete? First athlete. He was born October 5th. So was her grandma Marjorie. His Instagram. A killer. Knew he was a killer? First time that I saw him? That's his Instagram name? The first time she saw him, he was wearing Super Bowl rings. She has a song called Mary, a couple growing old together. The lyrics say, I'll be 87, you'll be 89. Well, it's Switch, she'll be 89, obviously her album that's coming out, and he's number 87. If there's any I'm forgetting. Oh, oh, the Archer pose. Okay. Travis has a signature move when he gets a touchdown. Do you know what it is? Yep, okay. And then do you know what Taylor Swift does when she's singing the Archer? I'm also going to show you a couple fun lyrical connects. I was loving him like Taylor. Red. Red, oh, the on. Chiefs color. The colors of the fall, yellow. There's a song she wrote with Ed Sheeran called End Game. These lyrics. You know what first string means, right? Yes, no. First string means like you're the, you're the first string quarterback, you're the starting quarterback. He's the first string tight end. I wanna be your first string. Who knows what will happen? They could be done in a week. I think that this could actually last. It's like he's the first man who's ever been like, a big fan, totally respected her, pursued her. Like he's the first man who ever realized, holy crap, I'm dating Taylor Swift. He is so excited, proud to be with her. They are not codependent. They are so fiercely successful on their own. They do not need each other, but they're choosing each other. That's so cute. Also, they're in different industries. So even if it doesn't work out right now, she is so happy. America, this is what we need. Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. So if you want to enjoy football because of Taylor Swift, that's great. If I want to go to a Taylor Swift concert because I enjoy live shows, that's awesome. We can all be happy together and just chill. <laughs>